This is Mountain Health Minutes brought to you by the Tahoe Forest Health System. I'm Ted Owens, your host. And today with me is Chief Medical Officer of the Tahoe Forest Health System, Dr. Brian Evans. Dr. Evans, so good to have you here today. Thanks, Ted. Good to see you. Dr. Evans, let's talk a little bit about uh, winter wellness tips. And I know we'll touch a little bit on COVID and flu, but what have you had to share with folks uh, on uh, winter wellness? Well, you know, when it comes to wintertime, a lot of us just really want to focus on staying warm and not falling down on the ice. Always good things to be uh, thinking about. But we also want to think about our general health because, uh, you know, we, we want to make sure that our bodies stay strong and we avoid illness and really try to boost our reserves. So we want to think about our immune systems and uh, taking good care of our bodies so that our immune systems can do what they have to do to keep us safe. A uh, big component of that is diet, uh, and I'm not always 100% perfect on this. I, I doubt that many of you are, but we want to think about our diet very carefully and make sure that we're eating well, what I call eating a rainbow, uh, filling your plate with fruits and vegetables. Make sure that we have a good variety of diet. Uh, you want to think about your sleep patterns. You know, with the uh, the season changing, changing, it does affect our sleep a little bit, and we want to make sure that uh, we're doing all that we can to have good sleep hygiene. And we want to think about moving our body and getting good regular exercise, which can be a little tricky for many of us in the wintertime because it's it's cold outside and maybe your usual things that you like to do, for example, going for a run are a little harder to do in the winter, but we want to build in activities that work for us so that we stay healthy. Dr. Evans, uh, in the winter months, uh, let's talk a little bit about what your recommendations are relative to COVID and the flu season. Well, obviously this is the season for a lot of respiratory illnesses and uh, COVID, uh, COVID is, is now a more seasonal type of a virus. So we think about it as a wintertime illness. You can certainly get it other times as well, but I'm definitely recommending that people get their COVID booster. There's you know a, a new booster out there that uh, is effective against the current variants of COVID and it's uh, very effective at reducing the likelihood of death and hospitalization. So. Definitely want to make sure people get their COVID vaccine. Uh, we always recommend the influenza vaccine, which can be a very serious illness for some, especially the elderly and especially people that have uh, chronic medical problems and lung problems, that sort of thing. So uh, getting a, uh, an annual influenza vaccine is still strongly recommended. Um, so you, you can do that. There's lots of other virus uh, viral illnesses out there during the winter. So we want to try to do our best to avoid catching them in the first place. So washing our hands, good hand hygiene. And uh, if you're in a very crowded area, you may want to consider wearing a mask. Uh, some people are at higher risk for serious illness if they do get sick. So those individuals need, need to think about their risk and uh, consider wearing a mask. Okay. Uh, this is Mountain Health Minutes and Dr. Brian Evans, Chief Medical Officer of the Tahoe Forest Health System has been with us. Thank you very much for tuning in and listening.